Hey everybody, because of technical issues, I'm coming to you after the regular tea time. Um, had some delays earlier evening, so here I go. And so let's get started. Y'all know how I like to get started. Let's get started thinking about good things, pleasant things, things that make you smile until your cheeks hurt, things that make you laugh until you boil over with tears, crying. Things that make you feel so good inside that you feel like you're floating on a cloud. Think about that. Think about that. Whatever it is, whatever it was, think about that. Think about that. And think about that. All right. Okay. So, um, what's up, y'all? <laughs> it's been, oh, man, it's been a month, and here I go with tea time. And um, I've been doing it like this, I think, since the, um, the official year came in. So, but it, it, it feels, you know, it still feels the same every time because I'm not coming to y'all as often. And so I feel like I'm missing out on y'all, uh, you know, in between the time. But this is what I'm doing for now. All right. So how are y'all doing? How are you feeling? Not only how you doing and, you know, what you got going on in the world, how you feeling, how you feeling inside. You know, we coming to the close of the summer. And so with that, you know, some folks are like, you know, huffing and puffing because things change at the end of the summer. Vacations kind of end sometimes. School is back in. Some people, um, you know, just get busier when the fall comes in, which is around the corner. And so... You know, making that transition can be kind of, you know, up, down, sideways sometimes, especially when it comes to getting the kids ready. And so if you're a parent, you know how that is. And so hope everybody out there is fine. Remember, it's just a, you know, it's just a moment. And then, you know, everything will go right back into how you have created it to. And so I hope everybody out there is well. Now... Um, you know, because I come on here, I'm, I'm not, this is not scripted or anything. I don't have a set, um, topic most of the time when I, when I come on here, unless something has come, you know, across my path and, um, and is on my mind to talk about. So, um, kind of just want to go kind of a little bit off the top, but. Since this is a post, um, this is a post tea time, I might do something a little bit different because I'm going to have to kind of download and upload this. And so, um, first let me check on this. All right. It still seems like YouTube is not letting my live go, um, but everything else seems to be working fine. And so, not sure what that is about. So this is what I'll do, right? First, let me check um, another way to see if the live is actually going on because as far as I can tell, it's not. And so let me check something. All right, give me a minute. Um, no, this is not. No, this is not happening. So according to this, it's not going on. And according to what's going on in my, my laptop. Anyway, so I have left a little message. And so hopefully that scene and anybody who's interested in coming to the live today will know what's going on. And <clears throat> this has been my evening, actually. I almost forgot about it, really, because I wanted to do it yesterday. I told y'all I was coming to y'all on Saturday. And then yesterday was a whole ordeal. <laughs> and so I made it today. And that's not a big deal because y'all used to be coming to y'all on Sunday anyway. But now, here yeah, I go with the technical issues and so. So I hope you got your tea. And, um, you know, you want to hang out for a little while and just catch up. Now, I'm traveling around. 
And I feel, you know, bad sometimes because I'm traveling and I'm not really sharing it with y'all. And I said, I'm going to start sharing. So I have to do that because that's what I'm putting out there into the universe. I'm going to start sharing because I'm seeing a lot of places. And you might, you know, want to see it too, whatever. Um, not just because I'm doing it, just because maybe you have an interest in going to one of the places that I'm going or you're curious about what's going on in that, that place, or you want to see some of the things that I'm looking at, and you just want to, you know, experience my journey with me a little bit. Um, and so some of the places, I'm not, you see, I love to travel, but my thing is I love meeting people. And so I don't always go to the sites that there are to see, because, you know, sometimes, and it's not really often that I'll go to something like, um, uh, like a tourist attraction or something like that. It's more like I want to meet the people. I want to go to the, the areas. I want to um, experience the place. I want to see what it's like. I want to see what the people are like. I want to see how they are. If they're loving, if they're kind, or if they're to themselves. I want to see, you know, if it's really um, the, the temperature is something that I think it's really nice or, or just unbearable in the summertime. So that's kind of, you know, or if it's, you know, and the vibe that I get, I pay attention to the vibe. And the vibe is something that you, you it's not controllable. It's like you, whatever vibe you're getting is what you're getting. And so I pay attention to the vibe that I get when I go to these different places. And so it's not about um, going to see a particular site. Is about experiencing the place and the people. And so that's what I'm really into. However, because I'm going to start sharing, uh, I will make an effort to kind of show y'all. And it's really, um, I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm going to go to these these um, tourist attractions because that's not really what I'm into. However, you know, I, I'll share what, what I am experiencing. Um, maybe some of the local... Um, streets and, and areas that I'm going to and some of the people because I'm, I'm meeting some good people and some interesting folks too and so yeah I, and I'll, I'll make an effort to do that because it's not the, at the top of my mind to kind of do that only because I haven't been doing it and so um but I, like I said I'll make an effort and then y'all gonna let me know how y'all like it or not because I'm you know this is me Anyway, so I'm going to go and, and do me. And so, you know, I'll go ahead and share with y'all. All right. And so um, right now, I'm in an area um, that is, you know, it, it's a mixed bag. You know, I've been here for a few days and it reminds me of New York. And it's funny. It reminds me of New York in a way that there are different areas Um you can go in and it's a different vibe in each area you can go in. And so um, that's what is reminding me of. And the traffic is just, um, it's New York-esque where it takes a long time to get a short distance. It, the, the, the people are not in the streets or anything like that, like New York. However, you know, it's a lot of New Yorkers here. And so... Um, you know, maybe that's why, but it's, it's reminding me of New York in that way. Um, yeah. And so I've met a lot of folks from New York, actually, but a lot of people from here. And I'm in ATL right now. And so um, it's a mixed bag. And different areas I go, I get different vibes. I get different set of um, people, different experience in, every, in each area that I've gone to. And I've been... I haven't been that, I haven't spent much time in the heart of Atlanta, but, you know, different areas around it. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's resting. And so, but I just scratched the surface. And that's most of the places that I've gone. I just scratched the surface because I like to travel. And I'm not intending on staying long any place that I go. And so, um, I'm just getting a really small piece of the experience but you know enough to get a little taste you know and so 
Um, but it's been good. It's been good. Um, I have specific areas that I like already, you know, and um, there's a lot of places that I haven't gone yet. And so, um, and like I said, there's different experiences with each area. And so, yeah, so it'll be interesting as I come back and forth to this place because this is one of those places where you have to come to. Like, it's just a must. It's like, um, this is where it is, especially for our community, right? And so, you got to come out here, right? But it, to experience in its fullness, it's going to take many trips to be here and kind of go to each area and kind of see what's going on like you know like I like to experience it and so I look forward to you know doing that and so um yeah when I'm not staying here um for extended time I'll be back and forth and so yeah again I'm going to start sharing so just bear with me y'all because this is really something I've got to I've already you know, put it out there in the universe recently, and I'm putting it out there to y'all, so that y'all my accountability partner in this, right? <laughs> and so now, um, I'm to the point where, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta take some action steps toward with that to make it happen, and so, yeah, because it's, it's just regular life to me, and picking up a camera is not in the forefront of my mind, and so, and, but, you know, I, I'm gonna get there, um, yeah, so what's been going on? There's a lot been going on, and y'all you know, know I don't like to focus on the negative, so I try to focus on the positive, only because we create our lives. And yes, we have to do shadow work, and we have to, you know, address the things that are negative in our lives, but we don't have to dwell in it. And so that's not what I'm trying to do. And so, um, you know, the positive things. What's going on for you that's good? Have you celebrated yourself in the last three months? Have you done something and, and no matter what size the accomplishment, have you celebrated that accomplishment? Maybe um, you're trying to, um, I don't know, get more of a healthy eating habit going on and you've been good for the last couple of months. You know, celebrate. And celebrate doesn't mean go and undo things that you've done to get your accomplishment or meet your, you know, going towards your goal. It can be something totally out of, you know, doesn't have to do anything with that. You can go ahead and celebrate. It could be um, anything. Um, you've um, taken some, I don't know, some, some workshops, some courses, and you actually started and completed something that you started, you know, as far as a workshop or a seminar, webinar, something like that. Believe it or not, that is nowadays an accomplishment. So celebrate if you have started and completed some kind of workshop or challenge or seminar or course of some kind. That is worth celebrating. So that's an accomplishment. It could be anything. You wanted to um, take one day out of the month just to have me time, and you actually did it. Even though you have 500 things coming you know, your way, and you have a lot of responsibility and everything, but you managed to have that one day out of the month just for you. That's an accomplishment, you know? And so celebrate that. And so anything in your life that you're doing and that you're going toward that is positive, and you're making steps and you're seeing improvement, go ahead and celebrate. And celebrate could just be enjoying, you know, something that you like to do. It doesn't have to do, like I said, just go. I, I try to, to suggest not to do things that will undo your, your advances. And, you know, it's like people who, and I'm guilty of it, y'all see me chunking up, right? All that daggone weight loss journey I had, y'all see me? <laughs> and so, um, but if I wanted to go ahead and go back, the, uh, the celebration wouldn't be that I'm going to go ahead and have junk food. It's going to be, you know, something else that I like to do. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that. 
All right, so this thing, I don't know what's going on with my computer. So I took YouTube totally off. And now the computer doing something else. I'm hooked up to the daggone um, the outlet and everything. I don't know. I'm going to keep it going because this is being recorded. I'm going to try to get this out and to you all before you know the night ends. Right. Celebrate the things that you're doing, you know, that um, you feel good about. It's good um, to do that every now and again. Okay. So, um, what else is going on? Um, there's a lot going on in the world, and it's kind of stuff I don't really want to touch on because it really gets into the negative. I just know that, um, you know, it's it's a time of contemplation. And because of the things that are going on, I, I want to um, start to, I don't know, I, I, I I want to say, um, have a, I want to start doing some other things that just, I feel like I need to do just because of those things or whatever. And, um, a one-on-one conversation, you, you, you know what I'm talking about, but you, you all will see because I'm, I'm really into trying to share more. And so, um, I'll be, you know, attempting to do that. And that's what, as far as everything is concerned. Um, yeah. Um, it's a lot going on. Yeah. Um, let me see. I don't have anything. In I have wrote down some things, but, you know, it's been really chaotic getting on here. And so... With that, I just wanted to make sure I got on here and still, <laughs> and still, and so, um, let me see, I think maybe I will, talk about some things with y'all. Okay, so y'all know I talk about relationships and all that. Um, if I want to talk about a relationship topic, hmm, how is your celibacy um, journey going? Let me shout out to all of you who are abstinent, abstaining, celibate, and y'all doing the no fab. Y'all doing any, um, you know, any of that? All of that's kind of related. How are you doing on your journey? I'm here to encourage you, you know, I'm, I'm with, um, you know, the Celibate 69 series, that's really what it's all about. It's more about encouragement more than anything else. Know that whatever reason that you're doing it for, there are so many benefits to doing it. And so you need to go ahead and, you know, find some more encouragement. Check out some of my videos about it. I'll check out the book and, you know, stay strong with what it is that you want to do. But I've been having a, well, it's not a but, but <laughs> um, I've been having these conversations about sex, of course, because that's the topic of the book. It's about waiting to have sex. And so sex naturally is the topic. And so I wanted to make something clear. And it's something that uh, I find myself having to talk about um, continuously is that sex is good and beautiful. Sex is of God. Sex is spiritual. It is not anything negative. And so um, if you feel anything negative having to do with it, that's something you have to process, like do some shadow work about because it's of God. You know, you have to, well, I'm say, let me put it like this. This whole world that we're on, this earth, Every being on here is a gift through the act of, you know, the sexual act. And so there is not anything wrong with that act. And so I just want to put that out there every now and again because I think that sometimes 
um, there may be people out there somewhere who who may have it, um, who may think that way or whatever, or have some kind of feeling like that, and that um, should be addressed. And so go seek some somebody to talk to if necessary, but maybe do some shadow work about it and why you feel that way. Um, and there's a lot of different information about how to do shadow work and what it really comes down to is you going inside going internal to find out why you feel a way about something and so start asking yourself why why do I feel what makes me feel this way and think back into what's going on with, with your life throughout your life and you know you'll you may come up with the answer because you're seeking it you know, sometimes we put stuff to the back, you know, um, it's there. We just push it to the back, to the recesses of our mind, and it's not at the forefront. And sometimes we have to actually, you know, activate some memories to figure out, you know, to make them come back up. And so ask, asking yourself the question may activate that memory. What happened to make you feel a certain way about a certain thing? And then you continue asking yourself why until you cannot ask why any longer. And so, but, you know, because that's such an important part of our lives, not only for pre procreation purposes, for our creativity, it is that, that energy center, is our life center is where we you know we create is that creative center and so it's really an important part of our lives so really you know go into that if you need to but it's a beautiful thing and i don't want anybody to misunderstand what i'm saying i'm saying that um for what i'm trying to say is that if you are if you are on a journey of waiting for whatever your reason that is then there are benefits and i'm here to share those benefits uh, you know and and that's that's what it comes down to it's, it's so many different reasons why a person could be on this journey all right and so the sex is beautiful all right um what else is going on um I'm kind of trying to touch on the things that I, I already talk about. Let me see. So that's the celibacy talk. Look, sex is a beautiful act, y'all. All right. Um, okay. Um, yes. Inner work. I hope you've been doing your inner work. And I've been, you know, because I've been traveling so much, sometimes it's hard for me to, and there's really no excuses, right? It's like, it doesn't even take that long if, if, if you don't need it. I mean, it's, it's as long as you can. It's a short period of time that it takes to do inner work if you want to do um, a short uh, routine of doing inner work. It doesn't take long. It could be as long as you want it to be, but it can be very short, like 15 minutes. And so there are really no excuses uh, for me not to do inner work because no matter where I find myself, 15 minutes is doable. And so, um, I got to kick myself sometimes if I get away from doing inner work. And I find myself sometimes because I'm traveling that, you know, I got to kick myself because I got to, you know, stay on top of it too. Um, and it's important. It is, um, and this is all, you know, my opinion because I think when it comes down to it, that is what has affected my life in a major way in my adult life it, that is what has affected my life in a major way if it wasn't for inner work I couldn't tell you where I would be right now because you know y'all see me smiling and everything but y'all don't know <laughs> I don't look like what I've been through. what's that song and so you know I thank God for you know putting these things into my you know into my space where I could have um, put it together the way I've done that would be helpful and it's been a great help it, it's been there are I mean
mean, it continues to be, you know, just a beautiful thing for my life. And I'm, I'm really so interested in who else can benefit from it. And I'm hoping that you pick it up, you know, this, the journal I'm talking about, Inner Work Journal, and try it. Again, it's on the podcast. I've, I've left it there. Like, it's, it's a few, um, I don't know, sometimes something, there's something like 12 or so. So you can go ahead and do it and see what I'm talking about. Or you can pick up any work journal. Um, and I got links everywhere. And this laptop is really acting up. <laughs> But yeah, so if you suffer from depression, anxiety, um, I mean, it's nothing invasive, there's no chemicals to it, it's just a routine that you can do for inner work, and give it a try, give it a try, all right? I would love to hear from people who have tried it, and you let me know what it has been for you because after I'll say a, a couple of months of doing it you will notice a difference at least I did and then from there it was just no no going back to not doing inner work and so um, hopefully you're out there doing inner work all right I'm just gonna talk about some regular something regular right now I talked about the F's last time I was with you and so y'all got that um and um, I want to start talking about um, some other stuff. Well, bring back talking about some other stuff because, uh, you know, I want to touch on on some other things too. But let's, let's talk regular life right now because it's regular life that sometimes has us in a, you know, just all over the place. It's just regular life. And so... And again, I hope everyone out there is doing well. But it's, you know, it's not that um, people who are on here doing videos and sharing their lives and influencing folks, you hear mostly positive things. And then when you hear negative things, it's like, it's like to the other extreme. And so... I'm not sure that there's anybody like just showing like the well actually I have come across some who are going through some some rough things and they sharing it and so regular life can be like that and so um yeah and it's not something that people would really want to share with others sometimes and so um you know be encouraged stay encouraged it's it's temporary as long as you're taking action to change your situation, right? That's the key about it. You can't dwell in a negative situation. You have to, to proactively do something about it. That is what's going to make a difference. Even if it's small things that you can do, it has to be some action toward, you know, change and doing something different or something different occurring. Of course, what we say and think and, and believe for matters with action. Take those steps, even if it's small. And, you know, that's where that mindset comes in. If you can remain positive and know that every step you take is, a, is another step, even, even if it's a small one, toward where you want to be you know, or the situation changing. And so keep taking those small steps. And sometimes, even if it's a small step, we get we get tired, right? We we kind of want to sit down sometimes and, and stop, you know, moving. And it's understandable. We get that way sometimes. But just know that, you know, don't stay there long. If, if you if you taking a, a, a rest and you taking a moment just to to sit still, just don't let it be for long because the only thing that things that sit still do is collect dust. We don't we don't want to collect dust. We want to go ahead and keep on moving. You no, know, it might be something that is hard to hear even. But I know where you're coming from if it is you. 
And I know that what makes the difference is all those things I talk about and making that step, making those small steps, as hard as it might be, as tough as it might seem, as challenging and as emotional as you may be, as, as fed up as you might be, as difficult as it may seem, you, you may not think anybody out here understands what you're going through, but there are people. There's some people right now who are going through exactly what you're going through, but they don't talk about it. You're not alone. You're never alone. And so stay encouraged. Just, you know, know that everything you're doing will make a difference, even if you don't see it right away. All right, so it's, it's more than words, it's, it's, it's real, and it just takes patience, and this is, this is why, one of the reasons why I'm so into this celibacy journey, because it teaches you patience, and if you can be patient with yourself, you can be patient in all kind of areas in your life, even when things aren't going your way. You have to be patient with yourself. Keep making those steps. And eventually you'll see a difference. No matter how small. But it'll be enough for you to know that a change can happen. So just, you know, you just keep it going. Keep it going. You're not alone. All right? There are people out here who love you even though you might not see it or believe it or, or feel it. You are loved. You're not alone. All right? Okay? It will pass. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Okay? All right. And it's just on my heart. That's on my heart all the time because I think that people don't share a lot of times. Um if they're going through something. And so I say, go ahead and check on your loved ones. Check on the people around you. Just check on folks and see how they doing. If you know that this is a, is a person near you in your life, some kind of way who is not vocal about the hard times, the tough times, the sad times, the emotional times, the negative times, then just sitting with that person can just be enough to make a difference. Just let the, letting the person know that someone is there, even if they don't want to share, that someone is there, that they, you know, just there. They have an option if they really feel like sharing that someone is there. All right? And so just checking and sitting with a person and just, you know, letting people just be who they are just around in the same space. And even if it's on over a, a Zoom call or a video chat or whatever, that too, you know, can be helpful. So check on folks, you know. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This stuff is on my heart, so this is what I'm sharing, y'all. This is what's on my heart. Yes, you're not alone. All right. Um, other than that, y'all, um, what else is going on? There's a lot going on. Like I said, I'm, I'm just really not trying to uh, get into it like that, like that. Um. But I'm open, and that's why, you know, if it wasn't for the laptop tripping out, I would be um, open to some back and forth tonight because I really want to know what's on your mind, what you want to talk about, what, what we can talk about with each other. Um, because I rushed, um, I didn't grab all the stuff that I would probably grab if all these things weren't going on, but um, let me do a village spotlight, all right? That's what I said I was going to call it, right? Village spotlight. 
So I've been to a bunch of places, yeah, and I'll be back to some of them real soon. Had some good experiences, met some good people, and let me do some shout outs for the village spotlight, okay? All right, and I'll have this in no particular order, so I was going to give you the information. If you're interested, if you're in that area, go, um, you know, go check them out, go give them some love, go give them some support. At minimum, maybe you can follow them, um, you know, check out their website, subscribe, or do something like that to support, you know. When it's time for you to make a purchase, maybe you keep them in mind so that, you know, you can, you know, eventually do that. Um, something like that. So, um, and I, I just have what's, what's with me. I, I have so many, like, seriously, I have to, um, I want to organize this eventually, but, um, I'll just do a few, because I go to so many places, it's, it's really not realistic for me to do a village spot, like, for, like, five businesses when I, I touch so many folks as I travel, and so, um, but five is what I said, right, um, and since I just started this, I'm going to keep it at five for now. Um, so, let me... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to grab a couple of these and share. Let me see. I might... I'm not, I don't have all of them in front of me. All right, so let's do, hmm. all right, let me start with this area, all right, good old ATL, all right, so, and I'm, I'm being random right now. And of course, I'm not able to, um, the way I move around, I'm not able to use any much people's services. I might, you know, get to use maybe one or two businesses things, but I, I move around a lot. And so these, most likely I haven't used their services. However, I've been there um, or um, met the people involved in the business. And so, um, you know. This is what it is, okay? All right, and so this one is, this one is called My Brother's Love, all right? My Brother's Love, and they, they sell things like um, sea moss and black seed oil and sage and body oils and things of that nature. And you can follow them at in, on on IG at my brother's love seventy five. All right. So that's that. That's this area somewhere around here. I'm gonna do one more around here because I've been a lot of different places. So. I'm going to just do one more around here, and then the other three is going to be from other, other places. All right, so this one, let's see. All right, this is a cleaning service. All right. Is this over here? It's not enough information on me for me to know. No, this is not here. That's, I think that's in Florida. Well, hold on. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna get better with this too. <laughs> okay. Also, this place is um, like you, 
with clothing and fashion. I think she's a stylist, so she can style you. And um, and it was kind of um, really stylish. So if you're into fashion, this is this is probably a place that you you would like. Um, and the name of the place is Dog Dog Up Boutique. And that's where you can find them on IG at Dolled, and that's D O L L D, up boutique. Um, D O L L D U P B O U T I Q U E. All right. Let me go back to the cleaning service. This is Florida. Um, I just know by the area code, but. Um, you know, um, so you'll know once you look it up if this is something that you can do by where you are. Um, it's called Favored, and it's a cleaning service, and it's just a num no, it's just an email address on here. All right, so that's Keith seventy two at gmail dot com. All right, and this is this is Miss Queenie Keith favorite cleaning service, and that is again Keith K E I T H seven two at gmail dot com. Wait, is that wait? Let me get the phone number because I think it's some some character I'm not even seeing on that email address so let me get a phone number too it's 470-403-7174 all right so that's three okay so let me go ahead to the uh, kakalaki now oh. let me see let me see I'm looking at that. Who is that? All right. This is also no. I saw one of these. All right. Okay. Well, this is South Carolina. Okay. It's called. And I'm, I might mess up the name. Forgive me if I mess up the name here, but um, Hadia's Dream. Okay, it's a gift shop. All right, some of the stuff that they sell, shea butter, home decor, essential oils, natural remedies. All right, and you can reach them at, ooh, I think there's a phone number I can share right here. This is tiny. <laughs> this is tiny. Look. You make me pull out the reading glasses. Um, the number is 864-363-5555. Four eight. Hadia is is H A D I Y A H. Apostrophe S, of course. Hadia's dream. Okay, so search that out or that number, which I think I got right, but it's tiny as I don't know what. Okay, and that's in um, Greenville. Okay. All right, so that's at least one more, and I'm going to let's see. I'm gonna do that. All right, John. Let's see. All right, one more, one more. 
I'm trying to spread it out a little something something. Let's see. Okay. One more. Okay, so one more, one more. All right. So uh, I'm just trying to make sure it is in a different area. Area, not, not I said area, yes. Um, this one, it's not enough information on here, y'all. I think this is also in South Carolina area. Good. Yeah, this is the. Let me just go ahead and give y'all this last one here. Okay, and so this one is a moving company, all right? And so it's called Most Requested. Most Requested Moving. And you can go to mostrequestedmoving.com. Or you can call 984-225-9329. All right. And that's James and Tony. All right. Most requested moving. Okay. All right, y'all. So that's the village spotlight for this time around. I didn't do it last time. I want to make sure that I do that every, um, every, at least once a month. So every time I'm coming on this one, one time a month, I want to do at least five. Um, yeah. And since I said I'm going to, you know, be sharing, maybe I'll do that as I'm sharing the locations. Um, which is probably needed because there's so many people I would love to share. However, you know, time, right? And so those are some people, like I said, go ahead and, you know, go get them some support. All right. All right. All right, y'all. So other than that, let me see. Um, this is pre-recorded this time. So that gives me a little bit of space and time here. I'm still looking at stuff. Look. All right. So let me see. Other than that, it's um, August. I'm trying to think of anything I wanted to talk about in particular. Maybe I will do some um, some of my own opinions to some, some things, right? Um, you know, everything I see, I think what, what it makes me, um, the response for me is, you know, is what, what can you do to to be better for yourself so that you can be better for others. All right. And so that's something we all constantly work on. I work on it constantly um, myself as well. Because the better I can be for myself, the more I can be there for other people who are in my space. And, you know, and so always working on yourself first because that you know that's how that goes so work on you that makes you better for everybody around you right and so that's what i think it comes down to um i know we deal with a lot of things 
you know, we are very emotional people. And I think emotions is what keeps us in all of these different situations and scenarios and keeps us on these roller coasters and circles and um, just up and down and all around. It's this emotional, you know, body that, you know, this, this emotional life that we have, this emotional life for real. And so um, it's about knowing, you know, about your emotions. And so, yeah. And it's not, it's not something that you, you, I think you can, you know, knowledge is power, right? So if you know more about yourself in that way, you, you are equipped to handle things that come up. It's like no, no perfect answers because we're not perfect people. There are no perfect answers. Everybody is on different journeys at different times. And because of our different choices, it's, it's a mixed bag of, a whole bunch of things is going on and so you know and these are people combining people who are colliding in their lives and and, and it's just like it's just it, it's what makes life interesting but it's also what gives us our biggest um, dramas our biggest um, issues and, and all kind of other things in between, our, from our joys to our sadness to everything in between. This emotional, this, this emotional um, life that we are living in. And so, um, yeah, it, it, that's what it comes down to in most cases, yeah. Thoughts and opinions and emotions all together and love. Don't forget about love because love is, is so strong. So it's something that, you know, because it's that's true for us, we're all on these different journeys and have these different things go on and we collide in lives and, and all of these things are happening. Unless you are, uh, you know, live in a bubble outside of everybody, there's always going to be something, you know. There's always going to be some some kind of something. It's, it's life. It's a journey. Like, could it be a journey? Could life be a journey if there was nothing going on in it? If we had all of the answers from the time we took a breath, could there be a journey? Or what kind of life would that be? And so that's, that's you know, I haven't even said that word yet um, <laughs> today, but you know, it brings me back to gratitude and, and, and the journeys that we have because it's what makes our lives. And so, it's like when, um, when we're going through something, the time we're going through it, right, everything seems just, it's nothing, unless you can, and see, I feel like I'm I'm going on the same tangent every time I talk to y'all, but it, it's it's just so gratitude is in what what can make the difference. One, you're here. You're here. You made it here, and the statistics are like crazy on how rare it is for this one sperm and this one egg to produce you so that you are here you made it through nine months in the womb and everything and you're here is just the greatest gratitude first of all right 
And so everything after that is like, um, you get to experience. Now, when it comes to the negative, sometimes it's not in your control. And, and many times when things happen, you, you're like, why is that happening? But and I try not to say but because there's no buts about it. Life, us, these different people with these different ideas and thoughts and feelings and, and emotions getting in the same space together on these different journeys, with different lessons to learn. Um, some awaken, some not awaken. Some, you know, have um, taken on this, this program and to an extent that it's hard to come back from. And some people are aware that they have programming to, to unprogram themselves from and, and everything in between. When we get to have this experience, I like to think about it like, like something like the lottery. So we know about what that jackpot was. And I thought it was just, um, we was, uh, I think I was in Georgia at the time, in a different part of Georgia, but, and the jackpot, that billion dollar jackpot that somebody won, how many billion dollars was it? I don't even know the full figure, but I know it was over a billion dollars. I didn't know it was a multi-state lottery, right? But that means that for every billion or however many billion dollars that was, there was at least half that amount of people who got into this game. So at least half a billion people played this game. Or there was at least, well, this is the math that I'm doing anyway. Y'all get my point, right? And so just put, putting that into the, the journey part, right? And so imagine all those folks trying to be this firm and this egg that gets to come and, and experience this. Imagine just like the people who wanted that jackpot. Imagine wanting that to, to experience this, this thing, this, this moment, this place, this, this existence. Uh, imagine having to, to vie for it just like the people who was trying to get that jackpot. And the people who spent their whole paycheck on, on trying to get that dag on winning ticket. Imagine that being us trying to get a journey, a ticket to have a journey. And every one of us that are here got a winning ticket to have this journey. <laughs> Man, if you can think about it that way, and then knowing that as far as you can help it, you can create as much of a good life as you can, that's in your reach and your capability, you know, the gratitude, I mean, that's what this, I just think is, it's just, even when the bad times come, if you know that you did all of this, you, you got to get here. You were able to get here knowing that there was a possibility or knowing that it was actually not even a possibility. It was likely, it's a large likelihood that you're going to experience bad things. But you getting, you go into a place where there's going to be bad people that, well, I don't know, like bad people, but people making bad choices bad things that happen, um, possibilities of things not being great. There's a possibility that, you know, this will happen or that will happen. There's a possibility of these things that could be catastrophic. In these, But there's also a possibility that 
these beautiful things can happen, that these beautiful experiences can happen, that great things can happen. And knowing that you you wanted to, in this this example of you know looking at it like trying to get that billion dollar ticket, you wanted to have this chance to have this journey, knowing that there's a possibility of all of these things. So, if you can think about it that way, when these times came. Of course, the great times were great. You know, we all love the great times. We got no problems with the great times. I don't know any problem. I don't know anybody who doesn't like good things that happen to them, right? But when things happen that are not, that's when it's an issue. But if you can go back to having gratitude for just even being able to have the journey. There's a different way you can take those times. There's a different outlook that you can have when those times happen or if bad things happen. You know about, you know, I mean, an example knowing that this life can be a mixed bag and it's it's a journey and it will end one day. Knowing that, like, wouldn't you be excited just to be here? Even knowing that these things could go on. And even deeper than that, knowing that you are able in your lifetime to affect the change to make it even a better place for the people coming behind you who get to experience this, this life. It's just a gratitude thing. Like, if you can just think about it in that way, when the bad times come, it's a different way you can handle it. You know that it's temporary as long as you're doing what you need to do to change it. As long as you're getting into environments that are better. As long as you're doing the things that you need to do so that things can turn around. And so it's just a different way that you would take the times when they come that are not so great or the people that might come into your life that, you know, even though you may love them with all your might, they still want to not do the same with you. Even when things happen that just, just can't really put words to it because it's not, it's just such to the extreme of the negative, but maintaining that gratitude, knowing that you won that lottery ticket for life, is a different way you'll take these things and, 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 and you can keep on smiling. And you, you know, keep on loving this life and knowing that you'll get through those times. I'm still on this and it's a reason why I'm on this. So I'm, I'm somebody may need to hear this. This may be for somebody in particular because I'm still on this. But it, it's a gratitude thing and it's um and I think that's that's a good way to kind of get that example, to show that example and that you know, paralleling it or, or um thinking about it in terms of winning that billion dollar lottery ticket. For real. If we had to do that same thing in the spirit world to even take a breath into this world, how grateful would we go about this life? Anyway, I'm on this. Like I'm I'm stuck on this deck on top of right. <sighs> so I don't know if this is somebody just know that, you know. It's, it's still worth it. It's still worth it. Yes, it, your journey is still worth it. Okay? All right. Um, all right, y'all. 
So I'm gonna shut this down. I've been on here more than an hour in assembly because I know that I have to upload, download all the loads because this is not live. Um, trying to think if there's anything because every time I get ready to shut down, I want to think about something else. <laughs> something else comes to mind, right? And so I'm kind of slowly get to that point so whatever want to come up I can go ahead and talk about it <sighs> all right and nothing comes to mind right now and so again I hope everybody out there as well I'm getting cold in this thing I'm wrong um I'm gonna send my love out there to everybody I love you I love you even if you know, and in spite of, despite of. Now, of course, that doesn't mean we have to be in each other's space, but I want you to know that I love you, whoever you are. Right? And that's the case for me. That's the case for me continuously. And, you know, I know people feel a way about that, but that's that's what it is for me. It really is. And that means that the folks who can't love me the same just cannot be in my space. That's all. But I love you. Right? And um, I just feel like doing it. And I feel like giving y'all a hug, too. So let me do that. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm staying grateful. And so that's how I am. Loving on you this moment. And, um, I'm gonna love on you some more next month. I'm going to try the Saturday thing again. Let's see if, you know, let's see what happens this third Saturday in September. Um, I don't have my calendar in front of me. I do not believe anything is going on that third Saturday. Like I said, if it's different, I would just post, you know, the difference, the different day or whatever. So just look out for the notification. It'll be around that time, that third week sometime right depending on what i got going on and all of that so yeah so i'm going to attempt for saturday again we're going to see how that works out all right so i'm going to end this tonight um this song has been on my mind all weekend it's been popping up in my feed probably because i've been running it running it is old well it's old school now right and what made me think about it and maybe kind of jam into it is because this is um, this is a song from Jill Scott that she did back when she first started it. To me, this is um, it relates to the celibacy journey, no fab journey, abstinence journey, because this song she's talking about all the things she can do with this guy that she's interested in. That has nothing to do with sex, right? And so <laughs> it's called Long Walk. You might know it, but it's the part in there that I've been singing. Well, it gives me a tickle all the time because she, 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 she says it twice in the song, and the second time I always get tongue tied. And so it's just, it's, it makes me um, giggle because I can never get the second time right, right? Because it's like a little round. Anyway. So I'm going to end it with that, all right? Because for all of you who, um, who can't even imagine having a relationship that has no sex in it, <laughs> you know, Joe gave us an idea back, you know, back in the day. And so this is the part right here. He said, um, this is called, long, well, this is just a part from me. She said, okay. I'm trying to get to the, in my head, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm singing. 
there. Maybe we can see a movie or maybe we can see a play on Saturday. I roll the tree. Well, see, I'm already messing it up. Okay. <laughs> I'm just singing with the song all the time. Okay. She said, maybe we can see a movie or maybe we can see a play on Saturday. Or we can roll a tree and feel the breeze and listen to the symphony. Or maybe chill and just be. Or maybe, maybe we can take a cruise or listen to the blue. Or listen to the roots. Or eat a batch of fruit. Or maybe, or maybe we can cry to the blues. Or maybe we can. Just be silent. <laughs> I messed that up. I'm going to try one more time. One more time. Y'all, come on, sing it with me. Y'all know this song. This is that one part. She said, Maybe we can talk about. And then she said, or maybe we can see a movie, or maybe we can see a play on Saturday, or we can roll a tree and feel the breeze and listen to the symphony, or maybe we can chill and just be, or maybe, or maybe we can take a cruise or listen to the roots or eat a batch of fruit, or maybe cry to the blues, or maybe we can. Just be silent. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, I'm leaving on that note. Maybe I can, you know, now, you know, find another song to find as an earworm for next week now. <laughs> y'all, all right, y'all. As always, I hope you are well. And, you know, everything is going well for you. And if it's not, it's okay. It won't last always, all right? All right? All right, y'all. As always, love and gratitude.